My name is Brian Nigerian. I'm a hand and upper extremity surgeon for the Detroit Medical Center. Common wrist injuries for hockey players include those that uh, occur from falling out on an outstretched hand or into the board. This can include wrist and uh, finger fractures. Uh, often they need to be set and on occasion operated on. Other injuries that can occur at the uh, wrist level would include those including the base of the thumb uh, due to the nature of the way we hold a stick. The thumb is at risk when the stick gets pulled from the hand and you can often sprain or tear a ligament on the inside of the thumb called the ulnar collateral ligament. Uh, again, that may require splinting, casting, and occasion surgery. A jammed finger is not an uncommon sport, especially in those involving balls. Uh, when we hit the tip of the finger with a ball or say against the ground, we can injure the joint here called your proximal interphalangeal joint. Uh, this may result in a swollen, uh, painful digit, and it's something that should be checked by a physician because while it may be thought to be a minor sprain, they can, they can often involve uh, significant fractures which are best treated uh, promptly as opposed to weeks later. So, uh, swelling, pain, sometimes a laceration if it does involve a skate without the glove on. Having appropriately sized equipment that's in good shape can prevent uh, most injuries. Uh, helmets and face guards with regards to uh, those same sports are, are key. So playing by the rules of the game is as much of a prevention as anything.